Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Pulse School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Nevin Rosasen, who is a policy and program specialist with Alberta Pulse Growers. Nevin and I talk at Canola Palooza in Lacombe about the timeliness of scouting for Askakaida in your pulse crops right now, as well as the importance of fungicide application timing when it comes to protecting your crop from the disease. Right, Askakaida can be a severe disease in pulse crops, uh, specifically peas, lentils and chickpeas are the most uh, common uh, <coughs> carriers of course and uh, it is a, a, a disease of economic concern. So what are we looking for for Askakaida? And Askakaida of course can be used interchangeably with Microsporella blight. Same uh, disease, same fungal uh, pathogen, it's just a different uh, part of the sexual cycle. Okay, so <clears throat> when you're going out to scout for Askakaida, the first place I tell producers to look is right next to their sprayer tracks in low spots. Because if you have any water that's being splashed up on the plant, this is the first part or first point in the field where you're going to see the symptoms of Askakaida or Microsporella blight. So what you do want to do is check those local uh, <clears throat> low spots, I guess, uh, where you can see the problem, but eventually you know, with uh, the right type of humidity, the right type of moisture, you're going to see it progress uh, throughout the crop. And of course, it's also an airborne pathogen, so it can blow in from other areas. It's not a seed source disease. And how often do you actually see that, that it'll blow from one area to the next? It all depends from year to year, but yes, it's just like sclerotinia or a white mold in canola or potatoes or other crops. So yes, you will uh, see it at times appear, uh, even though you may not have a history or have uh, virgin pea ground, for instance, you can still see Askakaida blowing in and it come, can become a concern. And how important is uh, timing when it comes to fungicide applications? Well, timing is everything when it comes to fungicide. And, you know, there are certain chemistries that are perhaps better than others, but it's definitely a timing thing. And with Askakaida in peas, you want to make sure that you're targeting your plants and you're providing that <coughs> protection uh, during flowering. And it's important too when you're considering your canopy structure and uh, what part of the part plants you're targeting, as well as your droplet size. Now remember in pulse crops, especially peas, we tend to have more of a jungle style canopy, whereas in cereals you have more of a vertical canopy, a little easier to target uh, those leaves with uh, wetting agents, etc. So something to consider. I always say to think like a weed when you're spraying a weed and think like a fungi when you're out uh, spraying your fungicide. And on average, how many different times are you actually spraying for Askakaida this season? Well, usually in peas, one application is usually enough. Uh, under irrigation uh, in the southern part of the province, some producers would be applying uh, two applications of uh, a fungicide for Askakaida. However, when you move from peas uh, to lentils and then on to chickpeas, your frequency of uh, fungicide may increase. Chickpeas, Askakaida is definitely a disease of concern and in the, that pulse crop you'll be looking at three even more uh, applications of fungicide in season if the conditions are right. And those conditions, what we do at Alberta Pulse Growers is try to make sure that we use extension to give producers the tools to make a more informed business decision and it all comes down to economic thresholds. We use an Askakaida scorecard which looks at the three I guess corners of that disease triangle pathogen, uh, prevalence, and then also looking at your uh, environmental conditions. So if you do have Askakaida presence in the field and it's prevalent everywhere and you have good uh, potential for disease to develop in the canopy, then we have producers look at the five day uh, weather forecast. If it's forecast to rain, then you have all three sides of that disease triangle and uh, at that point it's likely the right time to pull the trigger and load up and get out to the field. And how devastating can Askakaida be? Askakaida is by far the most economically uh, concerning disease in Alberta. Uh, you can look and see, you know, year to year you can have between zero uh, to 30% yield loss, sometimes even as high as 70% yield loss in field peas. So it can be a disease of, of huge concern. Anything you'd like to add? 
Hi, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, nothing else to add. Just uh, a lot of producers that are growing uh, pulse crops here in the province do so for a reason, and that's that they're a very profitable uh, cropping option in the province. And uh, we're seeing acres uh, staying steady or even climbing still. And uh, yeah, an excellent crop, uh, very good for risk management, lowering your input costs, and increasing that uh, diversity that you have on farm.